Hello, I am Cannot Find Server. Hey, I'm Conceal Cans. And this is the GameCube startup screen, the best startup screen. I I cannot disagree with that. I miss that sound. Speaking of cubes, is go on. Yeah, this is the reason that I'm playing Cube Before on the GameCube. Well, that and the fact that you know cubes on cubes. Oh, it's the logo and it's on the monster. I get it. Yep. I see. And, and he totally just took a shit. All right, we're off. We're off to an interesting <laughs> start. So this is Cubivore Survival of the Fittest for the Nintendo GameCube, yep. a unique game. Um, this is definitely a game that I think everybody who is interested in video games should see in some form or another, even if they don't necessarily. Play. Were those were those cardboard babies? They were. I actually don't remember exactly what those are called. I think they're bugs. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I have never seen this game in any capacity, so you'll be pretty much just showing me the ropes too here. I will be showing most people the ropes because I doubt very many people at all have played this game. It was released in somewhat limited quantities. Nintendo made this game, but it was actually brought over by Atlas rather than Nintendo because Nintendo had no real uh, visions of bringing this game over to the United States. Right. It was originally just going to be in Japan. This game was also originally developed for the Nintendo 64, which is part of why the visuals look a little unrefined. Yeah, I can definitely uh, see that. The Animal Crossing syndrome. Well, except it still works for that game as well as this one. This game has a very unique style, which is part of why I think it's a cool game. This game also has a unique... It's just unique. The gameplay is a lot different than most other games. It's difficult to really compare this game to anything. Are they trying to give us a story here? Yes, the story is interesting, and your character monologues a whole hell of a lot, which is interesting considering right now he's a pig. I wasn't really expecting that, frankly. I was kind of expecting uh, mindless eating of other cubes. That's pretty much what the gameplay boils down to, but... Your guy constantly talks about things, and he is... He's almost like a high schooler writing poetry. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask, is it like a poetic cube guy? Yes, and also, just for anyone who doesn't like a whole hell of a lot of plays on words, this game is full of them. This is like Animal Crossing in that there are tons and tons of puns, so if you don't like them, this is your uh, chance to stop. That's very Japan of them. Paw dunes. Yeah, and that's the sun. Starting right. Oh, that's the sun. <laughs> yeah, it is the sun. Well, alrighty then. So we're a little pig baby. Yep, we are alive. Piggy CFS. What a coincidental name. Like I said, this guy talks a lot, and this never stops. He does this at pretty much any opportunity. Hey, gameplay. Yep, I am now playing. You'll notice that I'm not moving particularly quick. You'll also notice that the camera is kind of shit. That is the single biggest problem in this game, in most people's opinions. The camera in this game is bad. Um, Like I said, being that this was originally a 64 game, um, I mean, it basically really boils down to the fact that this was designed, the camera was designed to be used with the C buttons. Mm -hmm. So what, are you using the C stick? Yeah, I'm using the C stick. The camera doesn't like, it wouldn't have been a terrible camera for a Nintendo 64 game, but I wish that they had done more with the C-Stick. Um, it's kind of obvious when you're playing this game how much they just basically brought it over rather than really refine it for the new hardware. Man, your little pig dude's a fucking glutton. Yes, this game is all about eating things. Uh, these are bugs. Bugs restore your health, uh, and that's pretty much it. So they're the basic basic unit of eat. Well, they're more like health pickups in like a game rather than basic eats. The mm-hmm. way eating actually works is a little bit different. But first, this is a training ground. Training grounds are scattered throughout this game. You do things with them to make yourself stronger. Are we going to beat up this horse? We are going to totally beat the crap out of this stationary wooden horse. Good, fuck that horse. I'm sick of its shit. Combat works basically... It's basically a Zelda-type thing. Uh, you 
Z target or L target, as it were, and push the action button. Gotcha. Um, I've destroyed the horse. You can continue attacking things at most training grounds after you've destroyed them. It serves no purpose, though. Alright. These are sexy points. That's... <laughs> That's... <laughs> Alright. They're love bits. Um, well, shit, now I know what I've been doing wrong. Yes. <laughs> these You use these to attract mates. You want to collect all of them in every level because you want all the mates. So am I to assume that uh, hopping is the fastest way to get around? It depends. Right now it is. However, that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. Toadstools. So, yeah, these are basically set up like the main animals you'll be facing in this game, which are not bugs, but... well, cubivores. Other versions of you, basically. Yeah, more or less. Uh, there are definite differences, but we'll get to those very shortly. Is it like a low-poly spore? No, I've heard some people compare this game more to Evo The Search for Eden on the Super Nintendo, but I still don't think that's a necessarily great comparison either. Uh, like I said, this game kind of exists in almost its own little world. There isn't really much to compare it to easily. It's own little cubicle world. You can see right here I am struggling mightily trying to get that love bit. Jumping, you cannot change your direction when you're jumping. Uh, once you've jumped, you continue going in that direction. Well, it's a little more realistic then. Oh shit. Oh, it's it's a horse? No. It's a tire jack. <laughs> it is a tire jack. Well, I don't even know what then. I assume you're going to eat him. Yes, I'm going to murder him and I'm going to rip his body apart. Well, that's rude. <laughs> and you see blood spattering all over the place. This game is violent for a Nintendo game. Yeah, damn. So now your little tail thing is in the front. Yes. So this is the first instance of Color Meat. Color Meat is how you change your abilities. Uh, Color Meat determines everything. It determines how much damage you do when you attack. It determines your hit points. You can see now I have 10 hit points or stomach points. Uh, oh no, it's a pink. Yes. Um, this guy is a... Oh, I can't actually remember what he's called. In any case, there's different names for the different creatures. I believe all the uh, early creatures are named after, like, auto parts or something. Like, tired... I don't... This game's whack. Now you've got a side tail. Yes. Is your... So your tail's basically just been flipping around. It's not really my tail, it's more my foot. And you'll see now I have 9 hit points instead of 10. Um, I'll get more into what the different colors mean in a later video once we start getting more. This level right. doesn't really have... This doesn't have all the uh, range of color beasts, so telling you what each color does would be somewhat pointless. Just an intro level. Yeah. You would put it again. This is my favorite mutation in this level because your head kind of swivels about... Did you just moonwalk? Yes, and I'm also doing, like, the oh-no-you-didn't thing with my head right now when I'm stationary. Yo, I am straight up down with this mutation. <laughs> However, this is not the final mutation. No, I didn't think so, sadly. I will enjoy Michael Jackson pig when I, while I can. You will be able to enjoy lots of different pigs. There are 150 mutations total in this game. Do, do you always start out as the pig-looking dude? At the very f beginning of the game, yes, but uh, we won't. S things get weirder. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, it's a dog. This is more or less your first real enemy. The other two weren't really a threat. This guy really isn't either. So I can assume that we're not going to be making many friends in this game. Oh, we'll be making lots of friends, sexy friends. Oh. <laughs> The, probably one of the things you need to do in this game is have lots of babies. Well, heck yeah. With lots of women's. In true goon style. <laughs> so this guy, instead of being just pale, is pale dark. Right, that seems a little uh, contradictory, but okay. Well, there's pale, pale dark, and dark of each color. Uh, pale is the weakest form of each creature. Pale Dark is kind of like the medium form, and then Dark is the strongest. 
Anyway, we've conquered Padoons. That's the first level. That's okay. more or less the tutorial. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Oh, and this is a screen that uh, tells you what you've mutated into. Some of these we won't be able to unlock until much, much, much later. Gotcha. But... In any case, that's the first level of Cubivore. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope you will join me for the rest of this Let's Play. Great. Bye-bye. That was the weirdest Minecraft mod I've ever seen.